but I recommend leaving it turned on for your own security to prevent hackers from registering uh, other WhatsApp account using your number. Just make sure the two-step verification is always turned on for your own security. Boom! What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in this video, I want to show you guys how you can protect your WhatsApp account from hackers. Now there are many circumstances out here, people complaining that their WhatsApp accounts have been hacked. You find an instance whereby you are logged out of your WhatsApp, then when you try signing in again, you cannot sign in back to your WhatsApp account. So these hackers, when they get your contact details, they simply uh, log in your number, to another WhatsApp account. Then when you try verifying your WhatsApp account, you are blocked from accessing WhatsApp. Now circumstances are a lot in this case. And I want to show you how you can block this simply by turning on your two-step verification on WhatsApp. Now, if you already know how to turn on your two-step verification, then make sure you always update your WhatsApp to the latest version. Now, how to turn on two-step verification on WhatsApp. Let's get it. The setting I'm about to show you works for any WhatsApp version. So just head over to the three dots at the top right corner of your WhatsApp under the chat section. Tap on those three dots, then head over to the very last option, the settings option. Locate your settings, tap on settings. Then under your settings, you'll find the option for account under privacy, security, and change in number. I need you to tap on that and account privacy. Once you tap on that and account, you'll find these options, privacy, security, two-step verification, change number, request account info, and delete my account. Just tap the very third option, two-step verification. So once you tap two-step verification, you'll find the option for uh, turning on two-step verification. You'll get the uh, saying that for extra security, turn on WhatsApp two-step verification, which will require a PIN when registering for your phone number with WhatsApp again. Now you'll find the option at the bottom of your screen, turn on, select that one. Then you'll be prompted to enter a six digit pin that you can remember. Now make sure you uh, use a digit that you can remember the six digits. So let me try using a simple one for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, but don't set your pin as one, two, three, four, five, six. That's an easy pin that hackers can easily guess and get access to your WhatsApp. So set a stronger pin, complicate the numbers. This is just an example I'm using. Then you'll have to confirm your pin. Let me confirm mine. Now once you do that, you'll be prompted to add an email so that you can reset your pin if you forget it. So make sure you use an email that you can easily access whenever you want to change your pin if you forget it. So this is for the extra security. Let me try this email. So Use an email you know, once you set up the email, just press on next. Then you'll have to also confirm your email, confirm the email address, then press save. Once you save this, you'll find this option, two-step verification has been turned on. Now once this one has been turned on, then you're good to go. No one can be able to access your WhatsApp without setting the PIN when registering for a new account. They love to include the PIN which you set. So just select the option at the bottom, select done. Once that is on, you are good to go. Now for two-step verification, you can always turn it off whenever you don't want it to be applied to your WhatsApp. You'll find the option here under two-step verification to turn off. So turn off to stay verification, you can always turn it off, but I recommend leaving it turned on for your own security to prevent hackers from registering uh, other WhatsApp account using your number. Just make sure the two-step verification is always turned on for your own security. Now you can always change your PIN. You'll find the option here once you have turned on two-step verification. You can always change the PIN if you want. You'll confirm the PIN you set, then change it again to a favorable pin you prefer. You can always again change your email address. You'll find the option. So confirm your email address, then you'll change the email address you prefer to. So that's it. Yeah, so that's how you do it. Make sure you turn on your test verification to prevent hackers from accessing your account easily. For more cool videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you. Peace out, Wangu.